with the 2.4 gigahertz transmitters there's always a question of which is the best way to have the, the antenna be pointing and I, I've seen just about everything um, there, but there's two there's two cases where I think it, it's, it's the wrong way to do it one is that sometimes I see folks have the antenna pointing down the problem with that is that the strongest part of the signal is actually coming off the end of the antenna now there's a blind spot right at the right at the end but around it, that's where the strongest part of the signal is. So if you point it at the ground, you're having the strongest part of the signal going to the ground and it's never going to get to the model. So I, I don't think that's, that's a good idea. But the other bad thing to do is to have it be pointing up because the problem there, and it has to do with how a lot of us fly and, and we probably don't even think about it. But when we fly, a lot of the time we end up holding the transmitter down. So, so you end up having the antenna easily is co is going to be pointing straight at the model and you don't you know you're probably not even thinking about it but again you know right at the right at the end of the of the antenna that's the weakest point in the signal so you you don't want to be doing that so what i do is that i actually point into to the side and that to me that's a compromise but it's got some nice advantages but i still have a strong part of the signal you know coming out this way so it, you know it depends how I'm flying, but I'm going to have a decent signal going to the model. But the other really, really big advantage is that I never have to touch it. You know, in, in the case where I put my transmitter away, that's exactly how it how it fits in there, and and you know it never has to move. And of course, I don't have to remember to also bring it up. And the reason why that's important is because there's just been a lot of reports of broken transmitter antennas. And it doesn't seem to take a whole lot to break them. You know, just bend it back and forth a few times and, and that's it, you're gone. And uh, what I understand is that with Spectrum transmitters, and this JR is probably, you know, probably the same, and with Futaba transmitters, you have to send it back to have it fixed. So, you, you know, if it happens in, in the middle of the flying season, that's just a big headache. So, I think, I think the best thing to do is to point to the side you're never going to be having the model off to the side like that. You don't have to touch it. You can put your transmitter away like that. And happy flying.